while we're talking about these um, Games Workshop washes as well, the use that you'll have for them, which is quite good, is to just uh, reinstate a, a colour over an area. So because they sit on the model rather than collecting round details, when I come back to this van just to reinstate these details, I'll actually use some white spirit and just take the finish off completely back to the original colour just in here so that I can get the number and the tops code and the small lettering on. I'll matte varnish it to bring the finish down to the same level as the rest of the wagon. And then I'll use just a very small amount of one of these washes, probably the uh, probably the earth shade, but maybe the sepia tint and just paint it across the bit that I've re-varnished. So it will effectively tint that whole surface and make it look like it's part of the whole finish. If I'd used an enamel wash, it would tend to run away from the edges and I'd still end up with a slightly clean area where I'd put the code and the number on. And that's the difference between these two washes. These tend to tint the whole model that you paint them onto. So if you're gonna make something a brown shade or a black shade or a muddy color, you need to bear in mind that the colour you start with needs to be a little bit lighter and a little bit less brown because what you're going to end up with is a brown colour across the model, a brown tint, plus all your detail highlighted. So they, they just work in different ways. Um, if you painted the enamel wash over the whole surface of the, the dogfish or the catfish, it would actually mostly collect around the details and you'd have, a mu you'd have much less of an overall tint. It wouldn't really work as a filter. And that's why they call these shades and not washes because that's actually what they do. They shade the model. So they give you uh, an overall tint, like a, what military models would call a filter, rather than it being a, a, a detail highlighting wash. And that kind of brings us to the end of those washes and acrylics and whatever. I'm just gonna come back in a minute when I've cleared this away, and we'll just talk about dry brush weathering with acrylics, which is uh, an interesting effect and much more useful in some ways than using enamels.